Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And this little roll-up is the PB Swiss Precision Screwdriver Set. It has 12 tips, 6 bits, and the handle. Now, you can have precision screwdrivers that are like dedicated um, individual ones. I have sets of, of the uh, Vera that are just outstanding. Snap-on makes some or rebrand some. Um, while the tips on these things are great, remember this one's out of Spain, um, I find that these... Uh, little spinny caps on the snap-ons are really hit and miss. Um, sometimes I've, you know, swapped them out, you know, gone through a couple of different sets to pick out the ones that I want. Uh, this is still pretty stiff, but I guess at the time that must have been the only one, T9. Um, there's some unique designs like this guy here, where you can slide out the different bits, as you can see. Uh, not the greatest quality, but kind of fun. Did a video on that. And then there's a million different variations of things that pop and slide and, and you know come out. One of the things is a lot of the bits, if they are removable, are tiny. Um, in fact, like if you get any of these kits, like here's an iFixit, you're dealing with these small four millimeter bits or three and a half if you're working with Kleins or Milwaukee's. Um, here's a little Weeha set. Um, these are just outstanding high quality bits. Um, but Here's PB Swiss's entry into this thing. Um, it's got kind of this little leatherette wrap here. It feels more like vinyl. Um, and it has the kind of classic PB Swiss handle. And then there are six bits here. So you can get on the torque side, um, you get a uh, six, seven, eight, and nine are the sizes there. And then on the square, or I mean on the torque or the uh, hex, it's got a one and a half, two, two and a half, and three. So that's what's going on with those. Um, and then for slotted, or for Phillips, you've got uh, zero, double zero and single zero. And then for slotted, um, you've got the same double zero and single zero. Um, they don't measure them, it looks like in metrics the same way. All these are beautiful serial number PB Swiss quality has a little or a little um, a tightening ring right up here. You know, I've done some other stuff with some small PB Swiss screwdrivers, little kind of EDC ones. So this just slides in, no magnetics or anything. So you can actually adjust the length. Um, not super strong, as you can see. I can push that down um, without too much effort. However, if you're pushing that hard, you might want it all the way seated. And for a lot of things, you may not need it um, seated all the way in because you just aren't pushing that hard to spin something out. Anyway, just a thought. So what do we have? Got a little leather at case. It holds six of these. Actually, it holds more than six. Getting them in and out is not always the easiest. It's kind of a pain. That one's getting hung up there because I've caught it a few times. Um, you can see not the greatest. PB Swiss could do something a little bit more innovative can see I'm having trouble because it is caught on a thread. If I free the thread, it'll slide up just fine. Um, as far as reading them, uh, I have pointed out in a couple of other videos with, with different models. Sometimes, I think Milwaukee did it. They actually put the size directly in the center. You know, that's where it would make sense. Uh, you know, on paper in a boardroom somewhere. And then the people who made the case said we'll hold them right in the center that makes sense of course then the centering elastic strap covers the size so you have to slide them out to see um, these you can probably quickly just eyeball now if you're using a longer one there's a lot of larger tool here to manipulate um, and that can be good rather than you know struggling with a you know a handful of these little bits um, all over the table you know, you might have some larger bits. So you can easily move them back and forth. Generally, um, you're going to want to uh, operate them with just your hands as well. And that's something I really like, is being able to go in and just use this without it in the actual holder, without it in the handle. Um, and a lot of times it's just so fast. Um, there is probably opportunity to design a tool that deliberately addresses this kind of a space because many times the handle actually can get in the way. 
you know, you're trying to deal with something, the further you are from the point of contact with the fastener, the more um, offset any movement um, uh, introduces. So therefore, it'd be really good if you could just get up tight um, up against the fastener without any real, um, you know, lateral motion, and then be able to just spin it. So um, I, that's one of the things I think where these really come in is this, this handle is almost optional unless you need the torque, you know, the larger frame to, to apply more force to it. But otherwise, just a set like this, I love it just for that very purpose. If you imagine having these things out, just, you know, working on your computer or something, flipping it around, and you should be able to break it free with this amount of force here. If you can't, you know, of course you can use that, but I could see a tool, something that looks just like this, but maybe has a little bit of a, a flare at one end, just if you need to apply a little bit of force. You don't need to continue it. It's not like screws this size are stuck um, beyond breaking free, unless they're cross-stripped or something, or cross-threaded. But anyway, so there it is. It sells for a little over 60 bucks. You know, it's PB Swiss quality, PB Swiss, Swiss pricing. Um, and uh, it is a small little kind of fairly quiet set. Um, only 12 bits or 12 tips, six total bits in the handle. So uh, once you get into the kind of the rarefied air of the PB Swiss pricing, you know, even snap on these. I, I haven't bought one in a while, but I think it was around 10, 12 bucks a piece if you want to buy individual ones. Um, yet you can get a whole nice Weeha set, um, much more affordable. But again, you're dealing with a bunch of the little tiny bits. So there it is for what it's worth, a PB Swiss precision screwdriver set. Um, 12 bits, wraps up in a little leatherette case. And there you go. And with that, dock out.